findmypast.co.uk. We have hundreds of millions of records to help you uncover details of your UK ancestors. But just a few short years ago, you would have had to search those records by hand, as they weren't available online, meaning long journeys to record offices. Even worse, because these records were not easily searchable, you would have needed to know exactly which records to search. For example, you would have had to know exactly where someone lived to search census records, and family historians could spend days searching through entire towns to find an ancestor. Find My Past takes great care when we digitise new records for you. And as you can imagine, it is a long and expensive and quite complex process. There are a couple of basic stages we go through when we put new records online. First of all, we have to prepare the original records, which can often be extremely fragile, and take high quality digital copies of them. This is called scanning or filming. Once we have made digital copies of the original records, we have to read every single record and type out all the details on the record. This can often be very hard when you consider that most records before the 20th century were handwritten. This is the longest and most difficult part of the process and is called transcribing. Finally, we have to take the vast amounts of data we have transcribed and create a search engine to search that information and match it up to the millions of images of the original documents. This is called indexing. Let us give you a practical example using one of our recent projects, the 1911 census. Find My Past is the first family history website to make this census available online. This was the biggest family history project ever undertaken and it used pioneering technology to bring it to fruition. Inevitably, records that are 100 or so years old will have experienced some deterioration and be fragile, regardless of how well they've been stored. So before the records are scanned, they must be prepared to ensure they are preserved as well as possible throughout the scanning process. In the case of the 1911 census, we started off with two kilometers of shelving, which held boxes containing tens of thousands of books. In turn, we had to break these books down carefully to get the 18 million original documents and get them ready for scanning. We worked closely with conservation specialists at the National Archives to bring the project to life. The conservationist starts by brushing the records to ensure any dust and debris is minimised as thousands of records are passed through the scanner. Any creased or torn records are placed into a plastic sleeve to ensure they don't rip as they are drawn through the scanner. Now the records are rebound and stored until scanned. The scanning team are all trained in every part of the process. Records are unbound, ready to be fed individually into the scanners. It took two years just to scan the 1911 census with teams working around the clock. Once the records were scanned, the images were sent overseas for transcribing. There is a huge amount of information recorded on each of the 18 million pages, and we have had a team of 350 people working on the transcriptions. By the time they had finished, they had performed over 7 billion keystrokes. What made their life even harder was the challenge of deciphering the handwriting. Each householder wrote their own form, meaning the handwriting was different on every single document. And as you can imagine, the handwriting varied from good to awful. Our technical team then combined the transcriptions and the new images to create the 1911 census search you see on Find My Past today. And another census was brought to life. It's now really easy for you to use these census returns by simply visiting the Find My Past website and searching for your great-grandparents, grandparents, parents, or even yourself, depending on your age. It's really fascinating to be able to go online and see in front of you within five minutes details and sometimes images of these people. It's really very impressive. The benefit of having records online is that everyone can access them from anywhere, anytime. The records in the 1911 census cover a population of about 36 million just before the First World War. But in terms of the number of images to be viewed, it's about 10 times the number we have for 1901. That's because more of the individual household forms have survived. For the first time, you can see the questionnaires that have been filled in by your own ancestors in their own handwriting with mistakes and crossings out. And lots of them have added their own comments and even some drawings. Mm -hmm.